Hey everybody, For today we are doing our little video on balayage. So in the surprise makeovers video, we touched a little bit on what uh, real balayage is. Uh, so today we thought we'd do an entire video on the tips, tricks, and often made mistakes by people when referring to balayage or doing balayage. So Michael and I are going to be partnering off with Devin and Max today. So let's partner off with the boys and we will catch up in a minute. Do some balayage today. Okay. Are you wanting to do something a little more drastic or how much lighter are you wanting to be? I think I wanted to go quite a bit lighter just because okay. it's summertime and they kind of want mm -hmm. you know, that golden kind of blonde. Yeah. Awesomeness. Honestly, I've never dyed my hair, so I don't really like know. But I'm I'm open to anything. I think whatever. Obviously, you're the expert, so whatever you think will look best. Okay. Well, I think that I definitely don't want to go like too cool with your hair because right. your hair has naturally has a really warm reflect to it. Okay, I well. think you said you're going away on a uh, travel. Right? Yeah, I'm going traveling, so I probably will be back for quite a while. Okay. So something so, that's just going to grow up really well. Yeah, but you won't like, have to maintain at all. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Something nice and easy. Perfect. Yep. So I want to work with that so that we don't alter the base color. I want to keep that natural and just alter the, the highlight color so that it goes with your natural color and complements one another and also your skin tone. Okay, that sounds good. Perfect. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. okay. So with balayage, a lot of people have a misconception of what the idea of that is. Uh, balayage is actually a freehand uh, painting technique used to lighten or give a dimensional color. A lot of people often see balayage or they'll type it in Google and they'll come up in the images and they will think that it is a color, but it's not a color, it is a technique used to lighten the hair. What's the difference between ombre and balayage? Ombre is a look. It is when you have more depth at the root and more lightness towards the ends, whereas balayage is a technique, which is probably the biggest misconception. And a lot of people tend to think, like, I don't want ombre, but then they'll show me a picture. I'm like, well, that's, that's, an, ombre. that's, an, that's an ombre. It's just a really natural looking one. But like ombre, little children have ombres as well. Like you look at their hair, they have more depth at the root and more lightness at, towards the bottom. So. Um, ombre can be in many shapes and forms, but I think a lot of people, when they think of ombre, they think of the ombre like five years ago, where it was like the black root with like the blonde ends, which is kind of like no bueno, solid, no one wants solid. that anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people don't often know how to pronounce balayage, um, so how you say it is balayage, but a lot of the time we'll get calls in the salon and people will be like, can I get a bouillage please? I'm like, oh, excuse me? Or can I get a balayage please? Balayage, <laughs> balayage. Yeah. Balage, please. No, and they're like, do you have balage? I'm like, what? I'm like, the shampoo. I'm like, no, we don't sell that here. Sorry. <laughs> um, so what are some mistakes that you see with the type of balayage you do? Um, I see a lot of people not taking the time to get the right consistency with their bleach, which in turn can leave a bit of spottiness with the blending. And you can get kind of parts of the hair that look a little too overly saturated. Whereas with balayage, you still want to see you want the boldness, but you still want it to have a really soft, natural kind of blend. I see a lot of spottiness. That's the, my, one of my mm -hmm. most commonly seen mistakes. So when clients come in that have had balayage somewhere else, but the person did it, just slapped it on, uh, and the color didn't process evenly because it wasn't applied, like Maxfield said, properly. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of spottiness coming down the hair, which obviously isn't a beautiful outcome for a client. No one wants to walk around looking like a leopard. No. And another mistake I see is a lot of people, you do want to see more boldness around the face, but some people go a little bit too extreme with it. Mm -hmm. Whereas you'll see that really beautiful blend through the mids and the ends, and then it's like these two like spice girl chunks around <laughs> yeah. the face there, and I feel like that kind of yeah. just, just ruins it a little bit. Ginger spice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cute in the 90s, but not anymore. No. <laughs> I'm so excited, I love it, it's so pretty. Oh, I feel great. My hair 
hadn't been dyed in so long. So last week I was on, I was here with Kamiko and she gave me a nice little summer cut. So I'm feeling summer fresh, ready? Summer, ready? I don't know. So thanks for tuning in for today's video about balayage. I hope we answered any questions or misconceptions you may have about what balayage is. Tune in again next week for more content.